there are a few things that you are doing that is making you not achieve that money goal you want to achieve and before you enter the new year 2023 i want you to ditch the six bad money habits that you have if you do not ditch this six money habits then it means that you're not ready to grow in your financial life this coming year and it is absolutely important for you to ditch this habit because they are stopping you from getting to where you want to be and if you do not it means you're just going to be regressing here are the six bad money habits you need to drop today one of them is not comparing deals you are so used to walking into one store buying whatever you see and going back home but for you to actually make the best money decisions, there are times where you need to actually check the different prices, compare the prices, and make sure that you're getting the best deals for yourself. Always ensure that you ask for a discount where possible or where necessary because you can actually or you might actually get a lower deal. So most of these people that sell stuff just want to make as much profit as possible. But when they see that, oh, you're a loyal customer, you're a loyal fan, and you want to patronize them truly they might actually just offer you a few discount here and there and guess what one dollar here one dollar there is going to make a huge difference in your finances another thing that you are doing one very bad habit cousin that you have is that you are not making the best possible purchase so you might feel like oh because this thing is cheaper it is the best no you need to ensure that you are buying the best quality you can find in the market because when you end up buying only cheaper items that are not of the best quality what happens is that you're selling yourself short just imagine that you are meant to use this microphone you just get this microphone and you decide to buy a cheaper version of let's say five thousand naira, and the high quality version is just seven thousand naira and you already know that okay there's a huge difference between the quality there's a quality gap between the five thousand and the seven thousand if you go ahead to buy the five thousand era worth and it spoils within three months you actually just should change yourself because the one of seven thousand might have lasted for a whole year so ensure that you end up buying only high quality materials that you need instead of just saving a few bucks so ensure that even though you are comparing prices, even though you are trying to get the best deal, you are getting the best quality at every single point in time. Another bad money habit that you need to drop is not tracking your spending. Of course, you should have known that I was going to mention this. This I don't understand how you want, you're telling me that you want to build wealth, you want to gain financial freedom, you want to stop working or you want to retire early and you are not tracking your spending. What exactly do you plan to achieve by not tracking your spending? So you need to know exactly what you spend money on, how you spend the money, and what you are doing at a particular point in time. So what exactly is stopping you from tracking your spending? Do you need an um, expenses tracker? You should get one. Do you need an accountability partner? You should get one. Do you need to have like a small jotter or an Excel sheet that can always just punch down numbers? that oh i spent one dollar on this or i spent one thousand naira on this you should get that so ensure that you are doing all of these things at every single time and after watching this video if you do not track your expenses or your spending you should start doing it right now cousin so i'm going to hammer on this particular point again number four not asking for discounts why why are you not asking for discounts I don't understand why exactly are you purchasing from a particular store if you cannot ask them for discounts why exactly are you buying from that place consistently if they don't offer you a loan so if you if you have a particular shop where you buy stuff let's say a supermarket or um online vendor or something if you consistently buy from them then right about time for you to start asking for discount this particular one i believe is one of the most important of them all not planning for emergencies life is so unpredictable that you cannot even say that this is what's going to happen tomorrow so when it comes to your finances when you're making plans for each and every other day every month and the next year or years to come you should always have that basket that safety net which is planning for emergencies why do i say this 
since I already said we don't even know what's going to happen. If you do not plan for emergencies, what happens is that when you plan for that birthday party or when you plan for that trip, something happens and then you're unable to go. It doesn't make any, any sense because your financial plan has been disrupted. So you need to learn how to plan for emergencies. So if you've not been doing this, this is one bad habit. I think you should stop like ASAP. This is one bad money habit that you need to stop doing because it's not going to help you grow financially. So my list is one I'm going to really talk about cousin. I'm going to hammer on it for a very long time because I don't know why you want to grow and you keep spending on impulse. What is the plan? Why are you spending on impulse? Why do you just see something and you like it and you buy it? Is they tell you that that's how we used to grow financially? No, you don't do that, man. You don't do that. Don't do that. We don't do that yet. So you need to stop spending on impulses. So when you see something that you like and you're like, oh, I need to get it. You need to ask yourself a few questions. Am I going to like it tomorrow? Am I going to still need it by tomorrow? If you can stay a day without it, um, think about it is that going to help me make a better decision then there's another thing where you can be like okay if i can stay like a month without it do i really need it because if it's something that you want it means that you don't exactly need it and you shouldn't just purchase it and then if you feel like oh this thing is going on sale i need i need it. you need to go back to your drawing board like spend a few hours or relax for like a day and ensure that you are making the right decision for yourself at that particular point in time so if you found this video interesting insightful or useful do let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like this video so that yusuf can actually send it out to other people so there are these are bad money habits i feel like everybody should stop and let me know which of them you've always been doing or you would like to stop like something that you keep trying to stop and you end up doing it over and over again and I'm going to respond to your comment and we could have actually have a conversation. So I will see you in the next video that is going to be shown on the screen right now. So bye for now.